Okay, so we're finally at that point. Yes, the review for the final episode of the season of Jessica Jones, episode 13, a.k.a. Playland. And of course, if you've watched the episode, you know what, why the episode is called Playland. It's, a, it's the name of the um, uh, amusement park that uh, Jessica and her mother used to go when way back when when with, with their with the father and uh, Jessica's brother and everything and uh, that was uh, the setting for the end of the episode which was um there's a fly in here um which was a little a little underwhelming but necessary i know i get i get why they uh they went uh the way they did. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Jessica and Alyssa traveling uh, the country. First of all, it shocks me that they're able to travel from the bottom south of the United States all the way up to the uh, top north because there's thousands and thousands of miles involved uh, and a trip like that, and you're able to do it in just a couple of minutes. And to add to that, uh, Oscar is somehow able to meet Jessica at a restaurant somewhere. And again, in just a few minutes. I mean, that's a cross-country trip. I mean, I live in a country that's... I mean... It's puny and insignificant, and it takes three or four hours of uh, travel to get from to, from one city to uh, to the other. I mean, in, well, depending on where you travel, but I mean, let's just say it takes around uh, let's say six hours from one end of the of the uh, the country to the other. We're talking about. A country that's about 3,300 times bigger than this. It, I mean, it, it, people are taking cross-country trips for days. It boggles my mind. Anyway, that's a, a side nitpick that I, that I decided to focus on. Yeah. Anyway, it served the story, I guess, that... They needed to uh, escape, and they need to be on the run. Honestly, I could have watched an entire uh, season of uh, Jessica and her mother being on the run, but I guess they had to end it where it was because uh, the season was a little too was already too dense, and they had to um, compress it all to one episode. I guess, which is cool. I liked it. I. Li We'll get to the to uh, the entire season as a whole in just a few minutes, but let's talk about the episode itself. I like the episode. I think it's a fine and fitting uh, end to what was a uh, um, I'd say a very good season. Um, as uh, common with most uh, season finales, we get to see all the characters uh, and their story arcs. Uh, come full circle um, and it's done in a way that's much better than last uh, season's finale obviously uh, Alyssa had to be put down uh, unfortunately because you can't really uh, let a person like that uh, loose in the, in, in the world we live in today uh, she wanted to do it herself She, when, when she got on that Ferris wheel I, I honestly thought that she was going to jump off of it or just uh, sit around and wait for the cops to get there. And eventually it was uh, Trish that uh, did her in. And by the way, for those of you who are uh, uh, criticizing the way Trish was able to hit uh, Alyssa from where she was standing, you, you, you gotta remember that she, she has that... Um, 
She has those uh, super enhancing drugs inside of her. I mean, the, just the fact that she was able to get up from her bed in her condition, let, al let alone run, was an uh, unimpressive thing. Uh, we'll get to Trish in a few minutes, but uh, I'm impressed with Alyssa in this uh, season, in this episode in particular, because it really just emphasizes the, the whole point that I keep trying to get through people's minds, and for some reason I can't, and it's in most cases, people are not uh, good or bad. They're just people with agendas. And we clearly got to see what uh, Alyssa's agenda was, which she cared about her daughter. She cared about her uh, husband, Carl. She wanted to. She cared about her sick secret. She wanted to protect uh, her family and anyone who even remotely threatened her survival, she snapped his neck. And of course she saw Trish as a threat, which is she wa why she uh, wanted to kill her. But, uh, I'm glad that eventually she, uh, she did what she did, and she decided to uh, either run away or just to, to kill herself, rather than just, uh, you know, go down the path of uh, killing, just like uh, Kilgrave did last season. Um, I'm very impressed with uh, Jessica's character development in this uh, episode, because I was uh, not thrilled with where she ended up in uh, the season finale of last uh, season, because she basically ended up being this in the same place that she was the beginning of the season, she did not give a shit, and she didn't even fix the damn window that she broke at the beginning of the season. I mean, last season Malcolm had more character development than Jessica, which kind of bothers a lot of people. Of course, uh, she got a little bit more character development in uh, The Defenders, and right now with where she is... And she's finally willing to open up, and she's finally willing to accept who she is, and the world she lives in. She basically, I believe she became her own uh, character, and she became her own uh, superhero-ish character. And I like that. I, the, the whole, I save people, but I don't care much mentality kind of bothered me at times but I'm really happy with, with uh, where they left her off and uh, I would gladly watch a season 3 of uh, Jessica Jones I would gladly watch 5 more seasons of Jessica Jones now if uh, it's possible obviously uh, not much uh, about Oscar and Vito this episode um, but I like uh, as I said, I, I like uh, Oscar in this uh, season. I liked him as a character. And I'm looking forward to see where, where this relationship between uh, Jessica and Oscar uh, continues to develop. Malcolm is very interesting. At least I was right about one thing. Uh, when I said that, well, partially right. I mean, uh, Malcolm is now a freelance who was looking for a job and uh, eventually decided to work for uh, Bryce Chang and he uh, finished fixing up uh, Jessica's apartment which is something he's been working on since uh, season one so it took him a hell of, hell of a long time I mean, close to three years I believe uh, but it was mostly symbolic to his character it was part of a journey that he was uh, uh, going through so I'm glad we finally got to finish that. And uh, let, we'll see uh, what Malcolm, do, Malcolm uh, is up to next uh, season. If and when it's uh, announced. Uh, not much uh, to talk about Price Chang. Uh, Jerry Hogarth definitely uh, got to put her stamp on this season. 
and especially in this episode and uh, she finally got what she wanted she she got out of uh, her uh, partnership with uh, Benowitz and Chow and she opened up her own uh, uh, thing with uh, 62% of uh, the other uh, company's clients and she's got uh, um, what is it Rand Corporations I believe she she basically has Danny Rand on her side which which is good uh, uh, it's a very profitable com- company and it's very it's a very good thing to have something like that uh, in your pocket uh, and we'll I guess we'll see in uh, season two of Iron Fist uh, where that uh, story goes. Maybe maybe we, we can get to see uh, Malcolm in uh, Iron Fist season two. Maybe we can get to see uh, uh, Foggy in uh, season two. Although I, d- well, technically I guess it still works for uh, Holga, so maybe maybe we will. Who knows? I mean, we still got um, uh, season two of Luke Cage to uh, look forward to, and season three of Daredevil. Uh, which will probably uh, shed some more light on uh, where Foggy is and what he's been doing. Uh, what else? What else? I'm a, I'm a bit over Dorothy. Uh, oh, we we need to talk about Trish. Like I said, I'm over Dorothy. I hate this character. I, which is good. I'm supposed to hate that character. It's how this character is written. But. Yeah, when she was, uh, when, when her, I mean, her daughter just woke up from a, from something that could have killed her, and all she thought about was making her a big star again. This woman is just gross to me, I mean, just get her out of there. It's nice to see that, uh, Trish is, uh, finally getting her only little, uh, we finally get to see the see Trisha's powers uh, manifesting themselves in the, in the form of uh, catching her phone on her uh, foot, and which was uh, an impressive feat, uh, to, to say the least. And uh, I guess we'll get to see uh, how that develops uh, in a possible season three. I really hope we get to season three. I, I enjoyed this uh, this show. I. I think this season is a little, a little under uh, season one, but I definitely enjoyed this season, and I, I would be glad if uh, Marvel or Netflix would announce uh, a season three. But with the whole uh, Disney streaming service uh, coming up next year, I don't, I just don't know um, if that's possible. Maybe they'll move all of the the Netflix shows to that streaming service and continue. With that same continuity there, I don't know, but uh, that's uh, probably a topic for a different uh, video. So overall, I like this episode. I'm gonna prepare myself now for um, a general review of the entire season, and I'll see you guys next time.